All right, welcome to this exclusive coverage of a DSA Club Championship match play match between me, Dean Schaub, and Justin Long. You are listening to the Perfect Flight commentary team warming up for our Euro Tour. Uh, go to NBDG English and like and subscribe to hear more of us probably doing a better job on the Euro Tour. But here we are warming up in my club championship. I'm here with the Frisbeer guy himself, Yerni Dar. Yerni Dar, how are you doing today? Oh, I am super ready. I haven't played Slaughter Park since 2016, so I'm I'm really, really excited to see this. Well, get used to this. There's OB everywhere on hole one. <laughs> uh, I'm starting off here with a Air Ballista Pro, which I've been loving lately. I The best play is to hang one out wide to the right use that path to skip back in and uh yeah i'm i'm happy with that drive i've definitely got a putt this is justin long a absolute bomber from atlanta georgia he's throwing a metal flake thunderbird cutting it close but it seems to be uh hooking in nicely yeah nice stable thunderbird that one is i uh see a lot of good shots from justin there's some new trees since you've been in the course. Yeah, this looks uh, very different. Yeah, that's but uh, uh, one thing that hasn't changed is the amount of uh, of people. Uh, oh, absolute nightmare in a tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've got a little tester. Cold morning, but hit it. Ooh. And uh, this is match play, not stroke. So I am up one nothing early. A little tip of the cap. That's just for you, Yerni Dar. <laughs> I, uh, I, right. I appreciate that. Moving on to hole two, legitimately one of the hardest holes in European disc golf. Again, OB everywhere, ton of trees, a lot of pedestrians. So you're always waiting on this tee pad. You definitely want to go hyzer, hyzer, and just putt and make your birdie on this one. I'm winding up with a fresh bio enforcer, throwing it about as low as I can, and and uh, skipping <laughs> safely inbounds. In match play, yeah, in... you you don't want anything to do with that skip. No, no, thank you. Justin's following suit with a, a lot higher line. Uh, he throws a Sexton Firebird and usually puts himself down there for a putt, which I don't understand, but he does it. <laughs> This is a, uh, a medium blend justice. I like to be uh, about this far back so I can put a full swing on it. I don't even like to be closer to the basket, if that makes sense. And I usually use the path again and just roll in bounds like I did there. Yeah, because this, this fairway, it narrows in towards the basket as well. So it's fairly narrow by the, the tee pad and it's just even more narrow uh, the closer to the green you get. Yeah, fun fact, originally they put the basket all the way at the back, <laughs> back by that garbage can, and people hated it so much they moved it up a little bit, but it's an extremely difficult hole. We played it about as well as you can play it. Yeah. Uh, especially in match play without the risk. This is our one ace hole. Uh, it probably plays more like 65 meters over the water. I don't love that 53. But, um, you know, it's a putter or a mid over the water. Uh, the drop zone is back behind the basket. It gives you a death putt. But, uh, you know, we play here all the time. It's just kind of a muscle memory shot for us. I'm going justice again. And just lay it lay it next to the basket Ooh, like a baby. That is, that is very nicely executed. And and don't be fooled because this is, uh, we're talking, what is, oh, <laughs> we're talking February, right? Yeah, it's uh, yes. it's cold. We barely warmed up as well. So we're, <laughs> you know, by hole three, trying to chuck one over the water. It's still, still a tester. Even true, if you... true professionals. Exactly. Justin threw his <laughs> uh, glow hard harp there. It's kind of a special edition. He loves that disc. So... Yeah, so I think a lot of the holes here is a lot, I wouldn't say a lot easier, but easier now that there are no uh, leaves on the trees as well. For Just sure. Just gives some more room. Winter is the time to get your personal best in Slaughter Park. Yeah. This is the first of two uh, par fours. This one is through the woods. A lot less woods than there used to be. That right side gap is what we're both going to take instead of right oh, really? up the gut. Yeah, it's really opened up and all the locals take it. We are both throwing Opto Sapphires here. The 2020 oh. Amsterdam Challenge Edition. And I crushed that one, really. You could see how easy yeah, I threw nice. it. I mean, I threw it, what, 70%. And just uh, on down there in birdie position. 
may I add a small little detail if you look at the rim of both of those discs there were actually a bit of a spin die which is the uh, 2021 Corona hobby that you picked up Dean yeah Justin and I do our spin dying together a lot uh, and we did our tournament sapphires uh, early on in the process good book <laughs> Justin absolutely parks his upshot with a slick forehand through the trees. This is a shot I can do in my sleep. You can see I'm not feeling great about it. This is my understable judge throwing putter. Usually I put it right under the basket and I absolutely poop it. Uh, leave myself, <laughs> you know, a putt for, for the birdie. But I'm definitely not happy about it. I felt like I should have just laid that one under the basket. I'll let you call this one your new dark. Think... <laughs> uh oh. Or is it awesome? Let's see. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was. I've seen you putt better. Yeah. And, and I... the unsatisfying thing, of course, playing match play is that you weren't able to tap out, were you? No, no. no. So, so <laughs> we are. We're now even, uh, even through four. Moving on to hole five, it's just uh, an Anheuser or a forehand um, at the basket down to the right. It's not that basket close to the right, but uh, a little bit further down into those trees. Justin will actually show you exactly where the basket is. High and wide. Coming in. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, absolutely parked. That was a DD3. A little early, turns it over a little bit too much. Yeah, not happy with that. This is definitely a birdie hole, and I've I've left myself the uh, the old kneeler special there. Yeah, low, low hanging branches. Let's see if you have uh, some spectacular in your uh, in your bag. For... <laughs> yeah, I don't. Just... Awful effort yeah. for match play. It, I it's think. super easy to roast someone when you when you're commenting with them, but you can see with the whole of you, the body language even before you have almost almost uh, just released the disc that that was not going anywhere. Yeah, you know it's one of those where it's between a throw and a putt, but you have to yeah. do one of them, and I did neither. You know that no. kind of thing. So this is whole but it, six. But, but yeah, it wasn't. Go ahead. A, yeah, just got to compliment. Uh, just got to compliment Justin because that was a, a circle's edge putt, which he was just nailing. So. Yeah, not as parked as I thought. But Justin's putting has come a long way in the last couple of years. It's been great to see. Um, yeah, we were uh, we had putting league, which also helps a lot. Yeah. Justin's going back to his Thunderbird here on hole six. There is OB down to the right. The basket is a long way off. This is a rare birdie, but Justin puts a good rip on that, mm. uh, especially for a fairway driver, which makes me angry all the time. <laughs> and, uh, but if it was uh, if it was summer, would you go that route, that direct on the right hand side, or would you sneak it more on the left hand side where it's more opening? Yeah, you couldn't really take that on the in the summer. Uh, the no. branches get heavy with leaves and hang really far down. I went with a hyper aggressive line, which is not my usual play. I kind of let his drive get in my head a little bit, which is not mm. uh, not my game at all. I basically have to throw this one in, and I give it zero chance. And uh, match play rules, we're we're pretty much done from here. I was using yeah. this this shot just as practice, actually. Just yeah. <laughs> even if I threw it in, Justin has two from there, so. And equally bad. So this is uh, this is bad news for Dean early on. I think I'm now down uh, down two. Yep. Yeah, because he took four, five, and that's six. Right. So that's really bad. Hole seven, you have a Mando that you have to pass on the left. It's a big tree. It's a huge Anheuser uh, to the basket. Uh, Justin and I do find that OB long quite often. He's going down to an Octo Pure to take that OB long out. Yeah, that's a thrower. Yeah, a little accidental roller there. This whole, uh, like I mentioned uh, in the beginning here, it's been a long time since I played this, and it was not that open back then as it is now. No, it used to be thick forest on the right yeah. and two huge trees out in the fairway. Those trees yeah. went away, and to keep the spirit of the hole, we made that a mando tree. And this is looking better if it's yeah. Yeah, I got a look. 
It's closer than Justin, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm still not thrilled. Uh, that was a uh, Frostline River that I've had in the bag for about 45 years. <laughs> Since the beginning of time. A nice little up from Justin. Yeah, that's a glow harp again. Uh, you'll see it a lot. Yeah, he doesn't love it. <laughs> We're both not. Yeah, mine kind of faded out at the end, as you see. I try to give it an honest run, but uh, just yeah. over the basket. We're not it's playing our ways. best golf, but uh, Justin's up too. He's asking if uh, I'm going to give that one to him. I'm saying no way. <laughs> no, no gentleman in this game. Never give away something, <laughs> especially to someone who you are practicing with all the time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one is hole eight. It's actually a longer 112 meters. I, th I think it's a 120 meter shot to get to the basket. Uh, there's a big hill on the left, as you see. OB uh, behind and to the right. Again, this is not one that's birdied a lot. Just trying to hyzer flip an enigma there, and it just fades out early. He's on the back side of that hill. I'm not, yep. ha not happy about that either. The Air Ballista Pro uh, Does it gets back? a really nice skip. Yeah. Oh, that is uh, that is some disc of valley kind of throw. I like that. Yeah, I got the, the big <laughs> skip, lightweight, release the yep. throw. <laughs> so Justin from the hill, not happy with this look. It's a tough. Uh... But bags. Oh it. my gosh, <laughs> Justin! And I'm down too. That's... You see me throw my my driver away. Like, give me a break, man! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> no, I've got all the pressure. I don't want to go down. Uh, 110 percent of the pressure yeah. ah good putt dean i was standing but come in a, on that putt. Yeah. standing Jesus. in a puddle as well so <laughs> um <laughs> this is hole nine we use the only elevation in the park and throw off that hill uh, it's a long par four all the way across multiple fairways <laughs> he's going back to the enigma here wide power hyzer to the middle of the fairway that's not his usual line i think he said what am i doing when he said that <laughs> so, uh, i'm really comfortable with the air ballista pro today uh i just try to get the nose down and get a good rip on it straight me out is it skipping oh ah, okay yeah I'm stopping just before the death trap there yeah anything close to the tree line people are happy with and that yeah. this is about about once every 20 rounds, I'll outdrive Justin. So I was really, really happy about this <laughs> scenario. And then this happens. <laughs> so, what? Absolutely parks uh, with a DD3. All the pressure on me again with an audience. Uh, but the Air Ballista Pro is doing good work for me today. So I nice put it down there. Nice S well. curve. That's great manipulation of flight. Let's go, yeah. I agree with whomever said that. <laughs> so I'm playing my my butt off and uh, mm. not gaining any strokes in the in the match play. So uh, <laughs> I'm still down two after back to back birdies. Uh, hole ten is one of the easier holes on the course. Uh, definitely a birdie hole. Sixty six meters through a bunch of trees. Um, we're gonna show you guys how not to play it. <laughs> oh, that's hyzing out a little bit early and gets the left kick. Yeah, not a great throw. And uh, what are you putting up there? Uh, I'm going to throw an Emac Truth, Justin through his zone. And if you thought his was oh. bad, oh. just wait till you see this. Yeah. yeah so it's even, a... even the ducks are laughing. That's rude. Oh, those are uh, big reichers up in the trees. It's mating season, so you'll hear them a lot. <laughs> They look like pterodactyls, and this is uh, this is where all the good stuff goes down. Is on this hole. <laughs> Let's see the harp in action again. Yeah. Ooh, it's running it a little bit. Was it short? Yeah, it's a little. It cut a little bit short. Uh, yep. So I have to throw this one in just to push the hole. I'm, I'm feeling distraught. I'm already down two. Oh. Yeah. Oh well, so I am down three.
uh, here on hole 10 and not feeling great. I am the defending club champion, so I, you know, it's uh, it doesn't feel great to uh, <laughs> to be in this position. The back nine um, is is relatively difficult. I think it's harder than the front nine for sure. This yeah. is hole eleven. We're playing from the tee pad marked R on the screen. Um, down the path and need to hyzer into the basket. It's a pretty good rip. Um, definitely not one we birdie a lot. Um, yeah. So Justin finally makes a mistake. I know the the door is open. The jacket comes off. I, I've had it. Like I'm definitely. Guns are out. Yeah. Yeah, and I just the door's open. I just refuse to walk through it. Uh, <laughs> leave it Anheuser really wide, really poor drive to be honest. And yeah, an okay result all things considered, but I'm. I'm not playing for par at this point in the match, nope. that's for sure. Justin's actually tucked right behind that bush, so now I know I have another opportunity. If I could just throw this one in, and I <laughs> just... <laughs> Ooh. All right. What? Like, was... I've never used my body yeah. before to do things, you know? It's just one of those things. <laughs> Like, have you ever used your body before? You know, it's one of those feelings when you're golfing. At least you made a putt, but still. Yeah. Uh, but Justin's lies, it's, it seems to be even worse. It's bad. But he's a, he's a long, half, half long guy, so. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get that last name for nothing. He is a, a tall, wiry dude. Ugh. Oh. And I... I Feel very a little bit fortunate of a lucky there. Stroke there. Yeah, so now I'm only two down. We're going into hole 12. We have taken away the Mando trees on this one. Nobody liked them. They weren't fun, no. so we took them away. <laughs> uh, but you still want to hit that gap through the trees. And uh, it's it's a pretty good rip, like I say, down to the basket. And we get absolutely no skip this time of year. No. And there oh. we go. Way to go, that Dean. Was... You just picked up a hole. And uh... <laughs> absolutely right. terrible. Justin just needs to get past the trees here to have any chance, and that looks pretty much perfect. Yeah. He took a little bit off, I think, seeing my lie, but uh, he pumped his Thunderbird down there yet again. And now a tricky utility throw. Yeah, I just, uh, I said, keep your palm to the sky, and then I did that instead, so... Uh, yeah, you kept your fingers to the sky. Yeah, this is, uh, again, throw in just to hope to have the hole. Been in this position a lot, and uh, yeah. yucky. <laughs> yeah, Justin Smartly, last year in match play, uh, he had a chance to just lay up and do this and take the hole. He putted it off the top, out of bounds, took the bat, and uh, lost that, the hole, actually. So he that laid was up. A, yeah, that was on. a real chicken move. No, in match play, that's what it, you're supposed to do. Yeah, but he is he is still three up. Well, so, now, now he's now three he's up. Three, yeah. Still, he's two up, So and you're only having a few holes left, so... Yeah, no, it was smart play, because he had, he had two strokes to play with to win the hole outright. And then this happens, and I'm feeling great. As that's about as bad as it gets on this hole. <laughs> so all I have to really do is put one about sixty percent down the fairway, and Justin will just give up. Oh, that looks perfect. Yeah, just peered the gap, and uh, this is pretty pretty hopeless <laughs> for yeah. Justin. Oh yeah, that that's not easy. Yeah, and so he actually, I, I don't know if you heard it, but he conceded the hole right there. So oh, really? Here, yeah, so we're moving on to hole 14. Um, oh. We have a minute to talk here, but uh, yeah, let's see. Going into 14, I'm still two down, uh, even after picking up that hole, so I'm not happy with the way I'm playing. Uh, what do you think so far, Yerni Dyer? I think it uh, it looks like the both of you have some improvement to do in the last few holes here, and uh I don't think anything is uh, given because mistakes has been been done by the both of you, but uh, you need to get closer to the basket now in the last four holes to have a chance, Dean. Yeah, and this is hole 14, a power hyzer over the water. I throw it about three times higher than I wanted to. 
Um, but it turns out okay. I've got a putt oh, from there. Oh, yeah. A little short, but... Yeah, it's definitely a different line. This is a Justin hole. Everyone knows it. I figured he'd park it, but he just sawed it off a little early. Yeah, too too much too much height, too much height, and uh, spikes down there, as you can see. Even foot falls a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about that. No, it's match play. Club championship, not DGPT. So this is about my last chance, honestly. Hole 14, time is running out. 12 meters. Oh my, right. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I'm like, I'm not going to let you do it that easy, man. We got to do it. <laughs> All right. Hole 15 is OB City. Uh, always a big breeze coming right to left off the off the water. Uh, not my kind of hole at all. Um, but I know I have to be in bounds. Yep. So don't get too aggressive. And it's the Air Ballista again? Yeah, I just couldn't. I looked in my bag, and it's the only disc I could see after a while. I just didn't trust anything else yeah. the way I was playing. No. A little bit lucky there as well. No skip uh, when you landed. And I like this. Because yeah. there was a skip, and he's under the... Oh, he's yeah. just past the basket. You can see his disc there. And I know this is do or die. Two in a row? This is even longer. This is almost on circle two's edge. Oh my god, Dean! <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> uh, you can hear the wind whipping around too. That was um, that was one. Of, I wish we could roll it back. That was one of those where you use the wind instead of fight the wind. Oh, and a hundred percent pressure on Justin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he cans it. Like you, every time I birdied a pressure. hole, I don't make I don't make up uh, any ground. You know, like so he birdies as well. So here's hole sixteen. Another rare, rare, rare birdie. It's it's every bit of 140, 145 meters. I don't know who put these distances. It's on down there. Completely flat land as well. Yeah. That's a, a very ambitionless ambitionless drive. Does that make sense? No <laughs> no ambition on that one. Uh, just no. put one down there and uh, make Justin plays. has some distance, so maybe... He can get there. Um, just not it's enough turn on that Enigma early. shot, but uh, it's almost pin high. If you get past that tree line, you're really cooking with something. This is a perfect flight medium judge, fun fact. Go check out the yeah. podcast, everyone. Yeah. yeah. A little bit further off than you want. Yeah, not, not stoked with that effort either. Not a lot's going well. Uh, well, you had you have had two huge putts in a row now, so yeah, yeah. But uh, my shoulder and my elbow both barking at me on this day. I'm not a young person, <laughs> so a little bit of a tester just to to half the hole again. Again, I'm still down. Uh, yeah, down totally one putt. right at this point. Yep. Should be a no-brainer for Justin. Yeah, I was not giving him that one. I'm like, hit the pole and bounce out. I hate this. Yeah, so hole 17 over the water is just a little uh, flick, and you need it to glide into the basket. Uh, disasters have struck here many times. I'm throwing a frost line triple X. Damn. Yeah, damn, you <laughs> hear in the background. That's nice. Turning that super stable disc over and just hysering down towards the basket. It's probably my best drive ever on the hole. Yeah, <laughs> and what a time to have it. Oh, this is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, this means... This <laughs> means that uh, you're even Steven, I think, unless you went far. So after all this, uh, I'm just by that tree uh, past the basket, actually. I don't think I've ever been past the basket on my drive. <laughs> um... So I'm, Justin's like, oh, I'll take my drop zone shot just for the fun of it. He has to throw it in. He doesn't. So uh, we're going into 18 tied. What a way to, what a way to end, uh, end this match play. Yeah, you can tell we're buddies. We play hole. together all the time. But yeah, going into 18 tied. 
Uh, 18 is birdieable for both of us. A big Anheuser that has to come back. Yeah, just a little bit wide there. I was pretty disappointed with that effort. Uh, usually yeah, a lot Stanson. more, a lot more height Stays on inbound. it. Yeah, thank God it was in bounds. I, it's ridiculous. Justin, to put the pressure on, this looks better, but still a bit too much, Annie. Oh no, gets a, he just slides in towards the the basket there and has a better position for his birdie pot than you. Yeah, that's all OB around the basket as well, which is yeah. it's horrible to look at. From downtown. For the win. Uh, <laughs> after all the ebbs and flows uh there are actually ties allowed uh in this stage of the event unfortunately mm. so we end up in a tie uh trying to do the gentlemanly thing here and uh be happy about it but a lot of missed opportunities on both sides but a great match a lot of drama <laughs> and uh that'll do it but thanks for joining me on this one yearny dar and uh yeah, hopefully we'll get sharing. to do this again soon. Let's hope so. All right, go check out The Perfect Flight wherever you get your podcasts and go uh, like and subscribe at NBDG English on YouTube. Thanks for watching.